Yeah, uh, you're covering this. Yeah, yeah. Listen, I, I have to go. Yeah, yeah, okay. I'll see you? Yeah. Okay. You look like a hero. <laughs> You don't want this. I do. More than anything. But not like this. I've been down this road. If we do this, I want to do it properly. Well, Antonio. He's reliable. He he has a stable job, Jacob. Jacob, I would give all of that up if you would just if you would try. Try to be the man that Joe and I need you to be, not the man that the world needs you to be. We all know that if they don't get an injection of funds by next week, bankruptcy is inevitable. Are you willing to make an investment? Of course. Are you asking me to step down? Yes, I am. We've identified the replacement. Who is this? It's your brother. You can make yourself the CEO, but you can never be the head of this family. You're wrong. Your company is bankrupt. Your family is in ruins. All I can advise you right now is to sell whatever assets you've got and get the hell out of Lagos. What's the Abiyami short for? You're talking about bailing out Abiyami. <laughs> I'm talking about buying a stake in Abiyami. I want 25% of Abiyami well. 25%? You must be out of your mind. Let the negotiations begin. Can we get past the Abiyami constitution and family ownership? Well, if the family all agree, then it's possible to effect the change. The family agrees. This is the beginning of a beautiful partnership. I will allow the sale to go through. I will also leave the moratorium on your wealth, but on one condition. I need one of you to stand up and take full responsibility for this disaster with no mention of Bola Abayomi. I hereby resign as CEO of Abami Holdings, and I'm stepping down as chief. I've asked my brother, Jacob Bakubu Abami, to return to Abami or to take up the helm. Because if there is one man who can restore honor to this family after the terrible events of the last few weeks, it is him.